This is After Midnight, the only fake comedy game show that does not have a carbon monoxide leak. We check. <laughs> Let's meet tonight's panelists. He's an Emmy-nominated writer, actor, and comedian. You can see it Apple TV's loot. It's Joel Kim Booster! No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. Just one second. Taylor, I said I wanted an ethnic one. The last one you sent didn't match anything, okay? Okay, well, make it happen or you're fired. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just on the phone with the orphanage and they're being <laughs> real nightmares. <laughs> Anyways, hi, Taylor. <laughs> hi, Joel, thanks for being here. <laughs> and she's an actor and comedian you can see in Problemista in theaters now. It's Greta Teitelman. Yes, it's true, I'm Greta Teitelman, not to be confused with Greta Thunberg, Greta Lee, or Greta Gerwig, because I have the biggest naturals. <laughs> hi, Dad! Three busy Debras, it's comedian, director, and photographer Sandy Honig. Oh my god, I'm so excited to be here. Can we say hi to our moms watching at home? Of course. Oh my god. Hi, Joel's mom. Oh. <laughs> hi, Mrs. Heidelman. <laughs> Sandy, she's dead. <laughs> she's with us and she's watching. That's true. Oh, so nice. You're pointing the wrong direction. <laughs> Good vibes in here. <laughs> okay, panelists, tonight you will all be playing for this catalytic converter. Yes! Wait, oh, I know. Wait, is that mine? I mean, are you gonna win tonight? It could be yours. I think that you stole that from me. I mean, no, we got this from a man who said, "Don't ask where it came from." So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what you get. Now that you've seen the catalytic converter, are you more nervous or excited to play today? Um, I'm feeling like I probably could have gotten a better gig for today. Um, <laughs> but still happy to be here. Oh, okay. So really not nervous or excited, more just like resentful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fair. Greta, Sandy, how are you feeling? Excited. Oh, excited. no, no, you can excited. say Anson. <laughs> I'm excited. Just warm Is that up. what you wanted to hear? Can I get points for that? You get points for that, sure. For one yeah! Wow. I personally love hard, stiff metal. <laughs> 100 points to Greta. For, no, no to Greta. That goes to Greta. There we go. Perfect. I'm sorry. <laughs> How are you getting points I'm, for Yeah, I'm sorry. Negging didn't get me points? Believe it or not, yeah. no. Wow. We were looking for excited. But you were honest, so 100 points. <laughs> So let's start with the stories we're talking about on the internet today. It's time for group chat. <laughs> Panelists, buzz in with your jokes, and if you hear this noise, you get 100 points. <laughs> Checking in with everybody's favorite billionaire and human Lego guy, Elon Musk. <laughs> this week, the billionaire admitted in a deposition that he has been role-playing as a toddler on X? <laughs> I always thought it was creepy to pretend to be a baby, but Elon Musk has proven that it's really creepy. <laughs> Tweeting things like this, I will finally turn three on May 4th. <laughs> or, I wish I was old enough to go to nightclubs, they sound so fun. That's not even what babies do. It's creepy and inaccurate. <laughs> but panelists, since he wants to be a baby so bad, punish Elon like you would a toddler. <laughs> Sandy. Elon, sweetie. Why is your face that shape, okay? <laughs> you know mommy doesn't like it when your face is that shape, okay? Please, can we get your face to be normal? <laughs> Joel. Elon, if you keep acting like this, I'm sending you straight to your colony on Mars and no vapes for the rest of the week. <laughs> Greta. Elon, please stop huffing the rubber cement. Otherwise, you won't get the teat later. <laughs> <laughs> you might remember the Glasgow Willy Wonka experience that went viral either yesterday or five years ago. Who can say? <laughs> the disastrous event seriously underdelivered and introduced the world to a terrifying character known as the Unknown. It's that. It's the unknown. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Well, that nightmare is going Hollywood because Willie's chocolate experience is coming to LA. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. 
Personally, I always have high hopes for an event that needs the preface, yes, this is a real <laughs> event. The Eventbrite says that the proceeds will go to a mental health charity. <laughs> Mysterious, right? <laughs> so panelists, what mental health charity is it? Greta. The Lost Boys of Vine, a charity <laughs> for the men who we've forgotten, who too often have to say, you don't remember me? I did parkour in a Staples parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the Sandy Honig Foundation for people who are sorry that they're acting weird. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Joel. The Boys and Girls Club of people who have been mutilated by a candy-related incident. <laughs> a lot of people like to make their jobs sound more glamorous than they really are. For example, I call myself a late-night host instead of a pantsuit clown. <laughs> <laughs> TikToker Queen Alley provides another such example of this. I was talking to this guy and he was like, I travel for work and I found out he's a DoorDash driver. <laughs> no, dude, that's not, no. I mean, he yeah. does travel. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right? I actually disagree with her. Yeah. He's not lying. He's, he's not, not lying. He's actually no. literally telling the truth. He's literally telling the truth. Who cares if it's between a Taco Bell and a frat house? That's yeah. travel. Yeah, yeah. That counts. Panelists, what are some other ways people have positively spun their jobs? Greta. He says he's an EMT, but really he just has a kink for mouth to mouth. <laughs> there we go. Joel. He says he's a culinary imagineer, but he's a sample boy at Kroger. <laughs> Sandy. He says he's an entomologist. Give me a break, bro. You just like bugs. <laughs> Uh, if you have a nephew or know someone who does, you've been forced to hear about Roblox. For those who don't, Roblox is a virtual gaming platform where kids play video games and hang out. And soon it'll get even better with the thing every kid wants, targeted advertising. <laughs> That's right, kids. Capital is key, and even your virtual reality is going to be used to make somebody a buck. The sooner you learn that, the better. So panelists, what are some billboards you might see in a video game? Joel. Lose your spot in the game? Remember, Jesus saves, and it's absolutely real. <laughs> Greta. Thinking of ending the game early? There are reasons to stay in the game. <laughs> Call 1-800-KEEP-PLAYING. It's a dark one, love it. Sandy. Hit someone with your car? You get points for that here. <laughs> Also true of this show. <laughs> Jojo Siwa is in the news again, and by the news, I mean this show, which counts. <laughs> She's in the midst of a bad girl rebrand and just released her new song <laughs> called Karma, a song that Jojo Siwa has claimed is deeply personal. Karma's a bitch! What's the inspo behind the song and the video? You know, there's a lot. Part of it's about life and choices you make. Part of it is about things that people have done to me. Part of it might even be about things that I've done to people. A little bit of concoction. And then the video, you know, is all about how karma can't escape her. I came up with the concept a year ago. Oh. Okay. This is what happens when Celsius turns to blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, she she looks like Lady Gaga Jr. Um, She's also she is on one lately, and like that's a lot saying a lot because she drives around a car that is wrapped with her face on it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah we've covered that here. Yeah. Have you really? We've covered it. Oh don't you worry, this is the hard hitting. <laughs> here. We covered it. For this someone... does look like Kids Bob Lady yeah. Gaga. <laughs> This has since caused a stir on the internet when people started suggesting karma may have been originally written for Miley Cyrus 10 years ago. Oh. oh. I mean, it kind of fits, right? <laughs> we all remember Miley Cyrus 10 years ago. It was this. It was awesome. So panelists, in this vein, please buzz in and tell us something deeply personal that happened to you and definitely not Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Sandy. So growing up was actually um, really hard for me. Um, I, I had to hide the fact that I was a famous pop star, and um, it was actually really traumatic uh, because I had to keep changing the wig. Um, sorry. I'm so brave. 
Yeah. Joel. Okay, so this actually really did happen to me. One time I twerked on an older white pervert on national <laughs> TV and people did not like it. <laughs> Greta. Sorry, um, <laughs> this one time I woke up and I was just wearing Doc Martens and little underwear and a tiny little white tank that showed off my amazing abs. <laughs> and then my mom, who's also named Trish, okay? <laughs> my mom came running into the room and she was like, sweetie, we have to go. I need you to sit on this thing. <laughs> She had me sit on a wrecking ball. <laughs> These are actors. We don't always get actors. You guys are very lucky today. Oh my God. You have to appreciate it. I should pull though, because we did establish earlier in the show, your mom is dead, so. <laughs> she she could have been named Trish, so. <laughs> Greta is in the lead with 800 points. When we come back, we've got Hashtag Wars. Stick around for more After Midnight. Woo!